An Eyewitness News follow-up now. A Princeton family is back on track after fire destroyed their race shop. Eyewitness News' Ryan Witchery gets us up to speed with that story tonight. Some people may be born to run, but Eli Holden was born to race. Eli was awake for the races. He, he was zoned in. It was funny talking to the people sitting around us. They're like, we've been watching this little boy all night, and he's going to be a racer. He's going to be a racer. At seven years old, Eli already knows what he wants to be when he grows up. NASCAR driver. Even though I don't really like NASCAR. Earlier this month, a fire at the family's race shop destroyed the building, including Eli's race car. But more than a week after the fire, Eli was back on the track this weekend in Marion, Illinois. I was super duper happy that I could go back racing again. But how were they able to find another car so fast? Pretty much everything in racing that we do, uh, Facebook is where everything's, all the information is. We located a car. Um, up nowhere near Warsaw, Indiana. Um, it was a car that was somewhat similar to the car we had. After Matt makes the adjustments to get Eli up to speed, they already have plans for what's next. He'd like to have a different color frame, but that, that'll, that'll take some time. We'll have to tear the car completely down, bare frame, have it sandblast and powder coated, and then build the car back again. But uh, give us a couple weeks. He's, he's going to stay pretty persistent on getting that changed, I think. Eli's final race was postponed until next weekend, giving Eli and his dad more time to work on his new car. Ryan Wittry, Eyewitness News.